first exercise that I'm that the first exercise that I'm going to show you is marching. So again, you guys are gonna get sick of hearing me say this, but you cannot progress uh, to the next exercise until you can maintain good core control. So that means no rocking of the pelvis, no arching of your back, no rib flare, no symptoms, and no coning of your abdomen. So you're gonna be on your back with your knees bent. And there are different progressions of this exercise. So this is obviously the easiest. Um, a good way to assess whether or not your abdomen is coning or doming is you can actually lift up your shirt and watch for it. That's probably honestly the best way to do it. Um, the other thing is, is you can place your fingertips right inside your hip bones. And when you turn on that transverse abdominus, it'll actually pop into your finger and you can feel your belly flatten out and your back flatten down into the ground. So that's another great way um, to just assess that. So just like the 90-90 breathing, on the inhale, everything relaxes, right? You let your belly expand, your ribs and back expands. So you're getting that good deep breath, your pelvic floor lowers. Then on the exhale, you're going to lift your pelvic floor, tighten your transverse abdominis, and you'll feel that back flatten into the mat. And then you are going to lift your leg. And then you'll inhale, exhale, lift, tighten, and lift the leg. So you'll keep repeating that, right? for the number of reps that are in your checklist. Um, so that's the first. So it looks like this in real time. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So that is the first. Um, progression. The second is you'll actually bring your feet up off the ground and then you will do a heel tap as my hip pops, right? And so it gets harder. So you have to really watch and feel if your core is coning or doming. Um, so this is what it looks like in real time. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So that is obviously harder. Um, then the next progression would be to extend your leg and heel tap. So much greater core control for that progression. So, um, so this is what it looks like. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So it is much harder. I can feel my, um, my back wanting to um, arch more with this one. So you have to really work on getting, you know, that, that deep core to fire and you should feel it, right? It'll pop into your finger and you can actually, when you are doing this exercise, if you have a diastasis, I want you to actually monitor that diastasis. So when you're here, Feel for your diastasis. What is it doing? Are you developing good tension in that linea alba? Um, if you aren't, then obviously that progression is too hard for you. So you want to go back to this one and then check, right? And then this one and check. So you want to just be um, being mindful of what is happening at your gap. If you are feeling good tension underneath your fingers, even though you have a gap, then that just means your, your body is doing a great job in loading um, that linea alba. Uh, so you know, just, just test for that. So those are the three progressions of the marching. Again, do not progress 
until um, until you're able to maintain good core control. So.